ChatGPT now has a Canva integration, which means we can do some pretty cool things when it comes to creating low content books. Now, what it actually does is pulls all the different types of templates that you can find here on Canva. If there's a template for it, you can do some pretty cool stuff here in ChatGPT, and that's what I'm going to show you how. So, what I'm going to do is share with you how to install the plugin and show you how you can use it to help you create low content books. So, the first thing that we're going to need is a ChatGPT paid account. That's ChatGPT Plus. We need this because that's the only way that we can access all of the ChatGPT plugins. Now, once you've got a paid account, you want to come down here to the left-hand corner. If we click on the little three dots here, go to Settings and Beta, we want to make sure that under Beta Features, you have the plugin enabled so that we can actually then go over to the plugin store and find Canva. Now, to do that, if we click just here, scroll down, we can go to the plugin store. From here, we type in Canva, we click enter, and that's where the plugin is. Now, I've already got this installed, but if you hadn't, you then click install. Now, from here, we can actually do some pretty cool stuff. So, let me go ahead and show you. Now, I've already got this written down, so I'm just going to plug that in. It says, I want to create low content books for KDP, but I need some help. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Do you understand? Just respond with yes. Now we're going to plug that in there. We clicked enter and now it's put yes. So now we can move on to the next part, which is asking some very specific questions on the type of books that we want to create. Now for this example, let's go with logbook and logbook for truckers. So let's go ahead and put in this. This says I'm going to create a logbook for truckers. What would I need in the layout of the book? Now, this can be done with any type of low content book. You could do logbooks, planners, and loads of different other types. Now, remember, if there's a template for it over on Canva, then we can do some pretty cool stuff as you're going to see. But use this as an example and just inspiration. Now, let's click enter because now it's going to tell us all the content that we should have within a logbook for truckers so it says just here creating a logbook for truckers requires comprehensive understanding of the daily tasks and responsibilities of a truck driver here's a suggested layout of the logbook then it's given us some ideas on the contents on the interior that we could use inside our truck driver's logbook we have the cover page an introduction page the daily log pages and so much more. This is just going to give us a broad idea of all the different things that we're going to need. Then from here is where we can actually do some pretty cool stuff. So I'm just going to leave this for a second, just let it do its thing, and then we're going to move on to the next step where the pretty cool stuff happens. So now that we have an idea on what we're going to put inside the logbook, let me show you this. I think this is pretty cool. I really suggest coming through and playing with this. But what we're going to do is just type in, can you find me a Canva template that I could modify to create this logbook? Now, what this is going to do is scan the Canva templates and give us lots of different templates that we could potentially use to modify to custom to create our truck driver's logbook. It's going to give us the link that we can click on, go straight over to Canva and start modifying. So right here, it says certainly. Here are some Canva templates that you could modify to create your truck driver's logbook. Now, this one doesn't look quite right. This is not an actual logbook, but nonetheless, we now have a better one just here. So this is black light minimalistic reading log planner. We could actually click on this, go over to Canva and use it as inspiration. Now, if we scroll down a little bit more, we have another one just here and it's going to give us lots of different templates which are already over on Canva. Now, why is this cool? Well, this is going to save so much time. Instead of coming over to Canva, 
typing in your logbook, your planner, whatever it is that you want to create and find a template for, which can sometimes take some time, we can just use ChatGPT and the Canva plugin to speed up the process. Now, how many do we have here? So the first one we can't really use, but then we have this one, we have this one, we have this one, we have this one as well. So it's given us five templates. Now, if we click on this, look, it goes straight over to Canva and it opens it up where we can go ahead straight away and start modifying and customizing to make these templates our own. So I think this is pretty cool that ChatGPT now has a Canva plugin which integrates with Canva because this just is going to speed up so much time. Now this is for a logbook, a trucker logbook. There's lots of different types of logbooks that you can create. You could even do this for a planner. So let's go ahead and take this. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's type that in again. Let's change out a few things. I'm going to create a, let's put teacher planner. Or let's put a planner for teachers. Like so. What would I need in the layout of the book? Then it's going to explain to me what would actually need to be in that interior, like so. And now I have all the information on creating a planner for teachers. But then if we type in, can you find me a Canva template that I could modify to create this planner? Then when we click enter, it's going to go over to Canva. It's going to scan all of the templates and find the ones that it recommends that we could use to create this planner. So again, I think this is pretty cool. It can save so much time and really speed up the process of creating your books. And there we go. It's given us some templates that we could potentially use. Now, right at the bottom, it says you can click on any of the links above to view and modify the template in Canva. The Modern Semester Planner and the Clean and Minimal Class Overview Planner might be particularly suitable for your needs. So again, now I have all the information here on what I'd need on the interior. And I also have some templates just here that I could click on, go over to Canva and start modifying. I can play with the colors, I can play with the font, I can play with the boxes, I can really change this around and just use this as inspiration for creating a planner. And again, this is going to work with quite a lot of different types of low content books. If there is a template here in Canva for that type of book, then ChatGPT can pull that through and really speed up that process. Now, one thing to quickly note, and that is going around, so I watched a few videos all about the Canva and ChatGPT integration. A lot of people seem to think that ChatGPT is creating all these different templates by itself. Well, that isn't true. It's not what the plugin does. The plugin just goes over to Canva and pulls through all the different templates which are suitable for what you want to create. Now you can do this for logos. You can do this for low content books. If there's a template for it over here on Canva, then ChatGPT is going to pull that through. But nonetheless, I just thought this was pretty cool. Come through, give it a go, and start playing around with it. And when you are playing around with it, remember you do need ChatGPT Plus because it is the paid version. Then up here, just make sure you have it enabled as well. And again, come through and play because you can do some pretty cool stuff. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also go and hit subscribe as well. And to watch more of my content, click right here and watch this video.